Question 9. In a newsagent shop, the probability that any customer buys a newspaper is 0 0.6. In the same shop, the probability that any customer buys a magazine is 0 0.3. Part A says complete the probability tree diagram. So the probability that any customer buys a newspaper is 0 0.6. Okay, so buys a newspaper, the probability is 0 0.6. Now, the probability that he doesn't buy a newspaper it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.6 because those two have to add up to 1. So 1 take away 0 0.6 is 0 0.4. It also tells us that any customer buying a magazine, the probability is 0 0.3. So 1 take away 0 0.3 leaves us with 0 0.7. And this is 0 0.3 to 0 0.7. Okay? Now, this is the probability that he buys a newspaper and a magazine. He could buy a newspaper and not buy a magazine. You could all, he could also not buy a newspaper, buy a magazine, or not buy a newspaper and not buy a magazine. Okay, so we filled in that probability tree, and this is worth two marks. Now the first mark comes from getting two, three, four, or five of these probabilities correct. If you only get one correct, then you don't get any marks. The second mark comes from getting all six correct. Okay, and that's it for part one, part A. Now, B says, work out the probability that a customer will either buy a newspaper or a magazine, but not both. Okay, so let's have a look at our probability tree. Now, not both. So to find the probability of the guy buying a newspaper and a magazine we would multiply across the tree okay so to find the probability that he buys a newspaper and a magazine we'll do 0 0.6 times 0 0.3 okay so the question was work out the probability that a customer will buy either a newspaper or a magazine but not both so which probabilities do we want so buys a newspaper buys a magazine we don't want that buys a newspaper but doesn't buy a magazine we want that probability doesn't buy a newspaper but buys a magazine we want that probability and doesn't buy a newspaper or doesn't buy uh, and doesn't buy a magazine we don't want that probability okay so we want these two probabilities and add them up so 0 0.6 times 0 0.7 so 0 0.6 times by 0 0.7 is 0 0.42 and the other probability is 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.12 so the final answer is 0. Point, we need to add those probabilities up so 0 0.42 add 0 0.12 gives us a final answer of 0 0.54 I'm going to write that on the answer line and that's it okay so this is a three mark question the first mark comes from either seeing 0 0.6 times 0 0.7 or 0 0.4 times 0 0.3 so that's enough to get you the first mark the second mark comes from adding those probabilities together and the third one comes from the final answer of 0 0.54 okay and there's your three marks and that's it